This trial is demonstrating the Thomas Grab, an idea to simplify and help in picking up aircraft. With this Grab, used in conjunction with a compensating crane, aircraft could be picked up whilst the ship was travelling up to speeds of 10 knots. Obviously this was a big advantage, as previously it meant stopping the ship to pick up its aircraft. And with the old method, there was always a danger when the tension slackened with the rise and fall of the aircraft in a swell or lumpy sea, to fall foul of and get damaged by the heavy ponder ball. With the Thomas Grab refinement, it was not then always the easiest thing, with the ship in motion and with any sort of sea, to be picked up without incident. Another scheme that was used to try and get over the difficulty of picking up aircraft in rough seas and without stopping the ship was the use of a towed mat. This particular one is the Hein Canvas, a German idea that is being tested in the Ark Royal during 1932. Demonstrating how things were intended to function, the aircraft taxis onto the mat. Having arrived there, it would be comparatively simple for a crane to hook up and hoist inboard. With these particular trials, the effectiveness of the mat and the capability of the aircraft to arrive on it are all that is being tried. Another view from the deck of the Ark Royal. There was no crane aft to pick up the machine for these trials, and the method of getting off was to flood the mat by letting it slack off aft. Sufficient water flows over to eventually wash the aircraft off. A not altogether comfortable procedure, and not without some risks. This, another mat, made by Ewell, undergoing similar tests to the hind canvas. It is again being towed aft from the Ark Royal. Its construction is somewhat different, but its function the same. Some adjustments are being made, and the inclusion of the dinghy looks as if that is being tested too, or possibly there to get a closer or more intimate idea of the mat's behaviour. The mat being let out, the dinghy still high and dry. Things are not too comfortable. The dinghy not so high and dry. Definite signs of trouble. Is it an SOS? The dinghy the lesser of two eagles, apparently. There's still some trouble somewhere. They seem resigned now and settled down, perhaps not comfortably. And now for its real purpose. It's a good approach and well settled. Had a crane been available, there would have been little difficulty in hoisting inboard. Yet another landing canvas, this time attached to a boom and being swung outboard. These landing mats were all reasonably successful and did mostly what was expected of them, but they were never adopted by the fleet air arm. The Germans made some use of the scheme and used it for refueling at sea, the seaplane they had employed on the Trans-South Atlantic Airmail route. towing tests at speed to make sure everything is going to take the strain. Being satisfied, the machine lands on safely.
The crane using the Thomas Grab hooks on and is hoisted. Off again for another attempt and the end of Matt Trials.